If you hate top sheets as much as I do, I'm going to show you something amazing that you can do with them. Hey there, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com. One of my favorite sheet sets, so it comes with the fitted sheet, the flat sheet, and the pillowcases, is the Hearth & Hand Linen Cotton Blend from Target. We don't have targets here in Canada, so I purchased a set of these two years ago when I went to the States, or three years ago, and then I went this past spring and purchased another set because I love them so much. I will link them down in the description box below. Soft, easy to wash, long lasting, gorgeous. I think they feel more expensive than they actually are. My issue is that I am not a top sheet person. I'm not a flat sheet person. I'm the type of person that likes to sleep with a duvet and a duvet cover. And what I do is wash the duvet just like I would a top sheet weekly however much it needs to be washed. So when you buy these sheet sets, you always get that flat sheet. So what do you do with a flat sheet if you're not a flat sheet person? I'm gonna show you how you can take two top sheets, two flat sheets, and create a beautiful, stunning duvet cover that matches the rest of your sheet set in only a few easy steps. I created this one right here in only a few hours, so I'm gonna show you how to do that today. First things first, you wanna make sure you have two sheets that are around the same size. Two of the same sheets would work, or you can mix and match and have a sheet that's gonna go on the top of the duvet cover or the bottom of the duvet cover. Buy a sheet that's the same size as your duvet or a little bit smaller if you want more of a luxurious look. The first step is to make sure that you pre-wash your sheets. Make sure you wash them just as you would wash them regularly later on, so in hot water, in the dryer, etc. Make sure they're all pre-treated and ready to go. The next most important step is to make sure that you measure your duvet insert and then measure your top sheet to see if your insert is gonna fit in your top sheet. In my case, mine was pretty close. My insert was actually a little bit bigger than my top sheet, but that's something that I like to do when creating more of a luxurious, fluffy looking bed is have that insert just a few inches larger. So keep that in mind when you're making your own duvet cover. If your measurement is pretty close, you are good to go. You can continue on with the next steps. If not, use a measuring tape, use a hard edge, and make sure that you cut all of the excess off that you need to off the top and the side of your sheet. Even though I bought two of the exact same sheets, I purchased them a few years apart, so annoyingly, even though they're the same, same fabric, brand, everything, one was bigger than the other one. So what I did was I trimmed off the bottom and the side of one sheet to make it match the other one. So just be careful of this as well if you're using slightly different sheets. You wanna make sure that they're the same size. There's two ways that you can sew your sheets together. The first way is if your sheets are the right size, they're all hemmed and finished all the way around, you can simply put the sheets right side together, pin them all the way around, and sew them using about a half inch seam allowance with the sewing machine. You wanna sew on three sides and leave one side open so that you're gonna be able to insert your duvet inside, and that's where you're going to attach fasteners. So for this step, right sides together, half inch seam allowance. I was able to do this with one side of my duvet, but the other one, since I trimmed them, I had to do the second method. Now the second method is if you have raw edges, whether you cut them or maybe you're just using some raw fabric for this DIY, we're gonna do some French seams. And this is actually what Martha Stewart does when she creates her duvet covers. To make French seams, you're gonna place the two sheets the wrong sides together, so the right sides are facing out. And then you're gonna use your sewing machine and about a quarter inch seam allowance and sew all the way around three sides, leaving that top side open. Now what I like to leave open is the more beautifully finished edge. In the case of these hearth and hand sheets, it's this one with the little crochet detailing. We're gonna leave that alone and use that as our closed edge. Now for the next part of this French seam, once you have the wrong sides sewn together, you're gonna turn that whole duvet cover inside out, iron, press all the seams, make sure they're nice and flat, and then sew those three seams with a one inch allowance. Now you're gonna have that raw edge hidden inside that seam. 
So that's gonna make for a beautifully finished final product. Now flip the whole thing right side out. You are almost done your duvet, which I think is an amazing part of this whole DIY. It is super simple. What I think is the hardest part of this project is just the volume of fabric you're going to be working with, especially if you have a king size bed like mine. It's a little frustrating to work with so much fabric, so just make sure you have a nice large space to cut in and a big table to sew on. Now that we have all three sides of our duvet cover all sewn and ready to go, we're going to add some fasteners to that open end. You can do all sorts of different things with this. Probably the easiest thing that you can do is buy some ribbon, cut it into about six inch pieces and just sew that in regular intervals on both sides of that open end. I prefer a little bit more of a tailored look, so I'm going to add some buttons. I bought nine buttons just from Walmart, very inexpensive, and I measured the open part of my duvet cover, discovered that I would have to place these nine buttons about 10 inches apart, I had about 100 inches on the bottom of my duvet. So we're gonna mark all of those out with some pins, and then I'm just using the satin buttonhole stitches on my machine. They're just these tiny little zigzag stitches that are nice and close together. My machine has a step one, two, three, and four where the buttonhole goes down, side, up, and to the side again. Some people have actual buttonhole attachments on their sewing machine, but I'm just gonna use kind of this manual version that I have on mine. I'm sewing all of my buttonholes, making sure I use the pins as the guide, and I'm kind of centering them on that nice, beautiful hem at the bottom of my duvet cover. Now that the buttonholes are all sewn, I'm going to use some pins and mark out where I wanna sew the buttons. And I'm just gonna sew these by hand with a needle and thread, making sure that they line up nicely with my buttonholes. And then I'm just taking a seam ripper and I'm just ripping out the middle of those buttonholes that I sewed and then I'm able to button them up. You can do a final press of your duvet once it's all ready to go to give it that crisp look. However, if you're working with a linen cotton blend or a linen like I am here and that's what I would recommend for sheets and duvet covers, my favorite. That wrinkly sort of natural look definitely is a beautiful look you don't really wanna mess with. Now you're all done, it's as easy as that. You've used two useless top sheets, created this gorgeous duvet cover that matches the rest of your sheet set perfectly. You're gonna insert your duvet inside. I have a couple different methods. I have one where I put the duvet cover inside out, place it on top of my duvet, roll it all up, put the duvet over, unroll it. I have a video just on that. I will link it in the description box below. But here today, I am just putting my duvet inside my duvet cover, and I'm just making sure the two corners align, standing on my bed, giving it a good shake, I'm kind of moving the duvet cover around and doing it like that. So I find both methods are about the same amount of time taken to do each one. So it really depends on your preference. I'm so happy with how my duvet cover turned out. I think it is soft, it's beautiful, it feels amazing. I love that it matches. And these top sheets were just sitting in my linen closet unused. And now we're gonna use them all the time. This is very washable. I can wash it just like sheets. And it's so, so beautiful on my bed. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this simple DIY duvet cover tutorial from Sheets. Let me know what you think of it or if you've done something similar down in those comments below. If you love comfy bedding and bedrooms as much as I do, I think you're gonna love this video. I'm gonna stick it right up here. I'm sharing all of my comfy bedding essentials to create that luxurious sleep experience.